Tosi Lee, Law Nashunt in the Critcher, a National Harp Day, and I'm delighted to be here uh, in the presence and company of Ashling Ennis, a renowned harper. My name is Tomas McIlligoy, I'm a harp maker based here in Rotfarnham, directly opposite the Pierce Museum and up the road from Marley Park. I was very fortunate to learn harp making from the late and very great Colm O'Macher, who worked out of the craft courtyard in Marley Park there for nearly 40 years. and. It's only with his passing I realised the legacy of um, talent, understanding, um, kindness, humanity that he passed on to all the harpers of Ireland and further afield who came to him over 40 years. And I'm probably deeply proud to be able to continue that tradition and to look after some of his work and to make my own work as well. Um, one of the things as a harp maker I learned because like Colm, I'm a musician all my life, um, is exploring the potentials of sound, seeking out that sound that um, gives the musician a palette to say what they want to say. And um, it's a journey um, of labor and of pain and tears of time, seeking out the instrument that, that'll give you that. So I've worked for years in developing my instruments to sort of this is the, the latest incarnation um, that Ashley is going to play for us. Um, actually you might say something about Colm as well because you, you knew him very well. Yeah. You made your first harp I think. I mean my gosh like um, my early memories of learning the harp so many of them are tied up with the courtyard in Marley Park and um, whatever magic you know Colm was working on on my harp at the time um, just spending time in that space where there were so many master craftspeople, you know, whether it was the leather worker Dave across the yard or just kind of being in, um, even just being in Cullum's workshop and just seeing the plethora, you know, of instruments in their various sort of stages of development, you know, and um, that it was, it was such a warm and comfortable and creative space and he was always so delighted to see me and mam and it didn't matter what kind of what thing we were coming in with that day or kind of what sort of calamity we were in or what we needed he was always um just more than happy to to help us out and um i think it's it's very true that sometimes it's only it's only on reflection you know that um you know one realizes just how golden a time that was, you know, sure. and how lucky to to have sort of to have fallen into that space with, with that person. So um, I feel incredibly, incredibly lucky um, to have been able to spend those. Yeah, those and it's funny because I repair harps as well, and I have streams of people coming to me over mm. the years, and every single person has a lovely, warm yeah. story to come. You know, and for, it's it sort of informed me how I go about it too just to give people that time, that welcome, that space and to look after them as well as you can. You yeah. know, it's a, it was a lovely way to do business and you meet some beautiful people in the process. Yeah. Um, so just moving on, I think um, you're going to play something for us now that yeah. sort of explores the full range of potential of the Irish harp. Would yeah. you like to tell me a bit about the piece first? Yeah, so I was, um, I suppose I was, I was trying to think what, you know, what to play. So this is a piece called Natalia and it's by Deborah Henson Collard. And um, I think it just shows off um, this lovely harp I'm getting to know. Um, I think it shows off the, the scope um, very well. Um, I, 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 love, I love this harp and I think um, it's nice to show what a, <laughs> what a beautiful even tone it has. Um, so it's sort of, <laughs> it's, it's my hand's fault if I, if I can't uh, communicate that. But I think it's, uh, Natalia is just kind of, it's, it's, it, it kind of does a bit of everything. So um, you'll get to hear the full range of the instrument. Um, and um, yeah, and it's got, you know, all the dynamics and various different kind of um, extended techniques, couple of harmonics. So I guess if you're looking for something to maybe show um, as much about the harp as you can, I think um, Nataliana is a good choice. I think Deborah um, actually, you know, as a musician herself, um, has done a great deal to sort of to push the harp beyond um, its ex it expectations sure. um, and I'm all for that you know I think 
um, it's great to embrace um, our traditions, you know, across the globe, you know, here in Ireland and, and elsewhere. And I think it's also lovely to to wear that tradition, like a loose garment that you can kind of cast off from time to time. Sure. And just, you know, and I think Deborah is a great um, example of that. So. But, but also it just shows potential the Irish Libra harp can stand tall in any genre of music internationally. Yeah. I think that's a, an important sort of message for our national yeah. harp, that our harp as an international instrument is literally limitless. Yeah, and it's already everywhere, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> Never rip so.
Especially that was absolutely incredible. Oh. I don't think I've ever heard a piece of music that explored the harp in one piece of music and the harmonics and the depth and the dynamics that you know that that has to say. So just thanks very much. Oh. It was a pure pure treat. <laughs> So just to finish up our contribution for National Heart Paper, what are you going to pay for us? Um, well, you know, it's funny because we're, we're chatting here and it's making me think about um, all my heart friends. Um, and, uh, of course, I thought of Dirk Finnegan. Um, and this uh, tune always makes me think of Dirk. Um, it's the Deer's March. I think it's just such a happy tune. And... Um, we might all be a little bit sad after it's all get out, so I thought maybe we need a, um, a bit of a break from that. So this is the Deer's March and um, yeah, a shout out to Dervil and um, to Kim and to lots of lovely heart friends. I hope you're enjoying National Heart Day wherever you are. So here we go, Deer's Great. March.